David here with Fake Boot on Pens. Today I have for you a new version of a pen that I've reviewed a couple of times. And that pen is the Diplomat Arrow. And today I'll be showing you a relatively new version of this pen uh, with what they call their factory finish. Um, not only is this a new finish, uh, but there's been some uh, tweaks made to the design on this pen, which I feel are improvements. So what I'm gonna do today is go over the parts and features of the Diplomat Aero Factory, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, and stay tuned to learn how you can win this very pen, courtesy of Points of Distinction, who generously provided this pen for review and to give away. Um, I'll also be sharing a, a very nice discount code that can be used for any purchase on the Points of Distinction site. Um, Diplomat pens are manufactured in Germany, and Points of Distinction is a retailer of the brand as well as being the U.S. distributor. The pen arrives in this box. Uh, then inside we have the actual box. Uh, and that I've always liked the design of the uh, Diplomat boxes with this aluminum part that slides off. And inside, under this flap, we have the pen. And uh, underneath there is a use and care guide as well as two cartridges. And then here is the pen. This is the Diplomat Arrow in the factory finish. Um, the pen is made from a polished aluminum and it has a matte black trim. Uh, I really like the looks of this polished aluminum. It reminds me of some of the, like, the World War II fighter jets. Uh, and the overall shape of this pen is inspired by the German Zeppelin airships. Uh, the distinguishing feature of the arrow is, are these grooves here, which traverse the barrel and the cap. Um, there's 16 grooves on the barrel, and then there's 15 on the cap. Uh, there's one less on the cap due to the clip. Uh, this is so the end of the clip doesn't actually sit down in a groove, which in my opinion is a smart design choice. Um, I like that the groove, in the grooves, that you can see the circular tooling marks. Uh, I feel it kind of adds an additional layer of depth to, look, to the look of this pen. Uh, these marks kind of stand out more on this model because it's uh, raw metal and doesn't have the anodized finish like the other Aero models. Uh, here at the finial, we have the Diplomat Ink Drop Flower logo, which is their take on a Maltese cross. Um, it's kind of a silvery gray on a matte black background. Then we have the clip. I've always been a big fan of the Aero clip design. Uh, it begins rather narrow and gradually becomes wider. Um, and it's longer than most clips, extending almost the entire length of the cap. I really like it. Then we have the cap band, um, which really isn't a, a separate piece. It's just a smooth uh, area devoid of grooves. Um, this is one of the two improvements uh, made to the arrow. Uh, the lettering on this band, which on one side says diplomat, and on the other side says Germany, uh, is now laser engraved rather than painted on. Uh, this will alleviate some uh, wear issues that some users were experiencing. However, uh, I never experienced any of that on the models in my collection. Um, there is a fairly smooth transition to the barrel, which tapers down and then it ends with a rounded matte black point. The cap snaps off uh, and this is the other improvement made to the pen. Uh, they revamped the capping mechanism. Uh, with the older design, there was uh, more of a defined click. And at times, some users experienced a bit of cap looseness. Um, the cap wasn't falling off or anything, just a bit loose. The new mechanism they have here is very similar to that on the Pilot Prera. And it really provides more of a soft sliding click, like the, uh, uh, like more like the Prera. Uh, and that uh, it's just more of a satisfying click now. And I really feel it's a, a great improvement for this pen. Okay, once you're done playing around with the cap, uh, this is what is underneath. A very nice number six sized nib stamped with the Diplomat Inkflower logo, Diplomat since 1922, and then F for this fine nib. Uh, Diplomat truly has some of the best steel nibs on the market. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fine and extra fine nibs, but this fine nib here is outstanding. Uh, it's decently smooth with a bit of feedback and not scratchy at all. And here's a look 
at the plastic feed. Uh, the section overall is rather long and it has a matte black finish and uh, it begins with a groove. Uh, the finish actually helps you, uh, helps provide a decent grip no matter where in the section you hold the pen. And, and it is very comfortable in the hand. Uh, there is a steep step up to the barrel, but I don't find that it gets in the way at all of my grip. The cap does post and it does post securely. Um, I do find that it back weights the pen a bit, so I usually prefer to use the arrow unposted. Um, plus, the grooves kind of just feel cool in your hand. I always find myself fidgeting around with a cap in my hand. Um, plus, I like the feeling of the grooves on your hand over here when you're writing. Um, this is a cartridge converter pen. Um, it does take standard international cartridges and comes with a converter. Uh, the retail price for this version of the Arrow, as well as the others uh, in the family, are $195, which isn't bad. Um, I'm very fond of the Arrow, so that's a, uh, a reasonable price. But Points of Distinction have provided me with a, a, di a discount code good for the entire month of June. Uh, you just use the code uh, FIGBOOT618 for a 20% site-wide discount. Um, using that code will actually bring the cost of the arrow down to a 156, which I feel is a great price for this pen. Um, if you've never tried out an arrow, it, it's something I highly recommend. I, I like them a great deal. Uh, and I'll put a link in the notes below to the Points of Distinction site. Uh, and I think that uh, the improvements they made to the pen are, are very nice as well. Um, and if you order any of the arrows, whether it's in the fountain pen or the ballpoint from the Point of Distinction site that you're getting the uh, uh, the newer revamped model as opposed to the older model. Uh, thanks go out to Points of Distinction for providing this pen for review and for giveaway. Uh, in regard to the giveaway, simply leave a comment here on YouTube to enter. Uh, today is Saturday, June 2nd, and you have until Tuesday the 5th to enter. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, you know, I really feel that Diplomat is an underrated brand. They make some quality pens and have outstanding nibs. So what do you feel is an underrated pen or a uh, pen related company? Uh, the comment topic is not required, just a suggestion. So now it's time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Diplomat Arrow uh, in the factory finish. Uh, just to show some comparisons, this is the Diplomat Arrow in the matte black finish. Uh, and then here it is with the uh, kind of the, uh, the copper orange finish, which I really love. I really love this color. Uh, and then one more Diplomat pen. Here it is with the uh, Excellence A, and that's the Rumbus Guiche. And in regard to some other pens, uh, here it is with a Lamy 2000, then here it is with a Pilot 823, uh, and then finally here it is with a Classic Pens LB5. So here we have the Diplomat Arrow, and we'll call it the Factory. Um, this is actually a fine steel nib, and the ink that I'm using today is the uh, Papier Plume. House of the Rising Sun. Uh, this is quickly turned into one of my favorite inks. Uh, this is what the House of the Rising Sun looks like. Uh, it's a nice red-orange. Uh, here it is in comparison with the Apache Sunset. I just find it to have a little more vibrance than the Apache Sunset. Uh, and here it is in regard to one of my favorite kind of vibrant oranges, which is Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. So I wouldn't categorize it as a kind of a tangerine vibrant orange. It's more of a red-orange, which uh, I, I like a great deal. Plus, I think their bottles are kind of cool. Uh, it's a nice little bottle with a cool label, and then they always do the, the little wax on top. So I would highly recommend picking up some of the uh, that Papier Plume ink. So in regard to a writing sample, uh, 
Um, I find this uh, fine nib to be excellent. Uh, it is, has a decent amount of feedback, or not a decent amount of feedback, but a small amount of feedback and is decently smooth uh, and that I, I don't find it to be um, to scratchy at all. Um, you're not going to get tons of line variation out of this steel nib, especially since it's being a fine. Uh, and the ink flow is, it's, it's not a gusher of a pen, as you can see by there. Uh, and in regard to some reverse writing, Uh, it is a little bit sharp there. In regard to some fast writing, I've had no issues whatsoever in the ink flow uh, keeping up here. So um, here again is the uh, Diplomat Arrow in the factory finish. Uh, this is a pen that I would highly recommend. Uh, and uh, whether it's in this finish or any other finish, um, it, it is one of my favorite pens in my collection. And I think that this is a very cool version that I am going to uh, regret having to give away. So in regard to that giveaway, don't forget to uh, leave your comment on YouTube. Uh, and <clears throat> within a couple of days, I will choose a winner and you could win this very pen courtesy of Points of Distinction. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.